hello friends welcome back to my channel and uh, in today's video we are going to look at hidden windows features that can help to improve fps dramatically or drastically you know what i'm saying yeah so in today's video i'm going to show you a few steps a few tricks and a few features that you didn't know about hidden in windows that will improve your fps dramatically okay so let's get into the video okay so for the first step we are going to start with um disabling full screen optimization the first step is disabling full screen optimization now what this means is that we are going to go into all our games or all our game folders who we'll, like you can see on my screen fc25 i'm going to right click on the the icon and then click on open file location okay i'll click on the icon and click on open file location once i open the file location i can i can right click on the game and then go to properties now in properties here you go to comp compatibility in properties you go to compatibility and then you select disable full screen optimization now what this is going to do is that it is going to improve performance that is especially if you have or if you experience stuttering or input lag it sometimes you know sometimes uh, if you don't turn it on if you don't turn it off it interferes with how the game interacts directly with your display so uh, turning off so turning off or disabling full screen optimization is going to lead to smoother frame delivery and lower input latency you understand so it's going to sometimes you get lag because of how the game is interacting with your screen or your display so turning off or disabling um full screen optimization is going to go a long way in what giving you higher fps and a more smooth gameplay you hear me yeah so for myself what i do is that i disable full screen optimization in all games yes just to get the best performance possible so the next step here or the second hidden feature right is we are going to enable ultimate performance it's a power plan you know we have the the usual which is balanced high performance power saving and if we go into if we type power plans and we go into our power plans right here you can see we are already on high performance now if you are someone who is eager to get as many frames as possible we are trying to go and get what the ultimate performance now the ultimate performance is not something that will just show up normally so follow the steps i'll show you go to search and then type command prompt you get me type command prompt and um i'll put the code in the description right there's a code that you put into command prompt and then it will you click on enter and it will enable the ultimate performance power plan so I'll click on okay and that is it i click on enter sorry and i press enter and that is it now let's go back into um our power options to see if ultimate performance power plan has been enabled so as you can see it is right there right so we can select it and now we have ultimate performance power plan enabled this is going to you know suck out all the juice pause <laughs> this is going to try and get or use all the resource pos resources possible to get as much fps as possible you get it the next hidden feature is to adjust gpu priority for games you get it now this is, this especially works for people who use laptops to game now when you have a laptop you have an integrated graphics card which is the igpu the one that comes from intel or directly from amd and then you would have your graphics card an nvidia an amd intel arc whatever it is you know but for laptops naturally it is on power saving which is the igpu so what you do is that you want to set gpu priority for games you go to settings you go to system and then display scroll the way down and then you click on graphics now when you come here you will see all these games you have games that i've already selected here i'm going to click on the games the option will come and when i click on options you see 
power saving and high performance the power saving is usually the igpu and performance is always the gpu itself so it's best to set priority for your games so sometimes your games may be lagging because the priority is set to the igpu you get it which may not be the best for for gaming so always make sure to set priority to your graphic your actual graphics card your actual gpu so that all the games may run on it and you know you get better fps you get me you see me now if you don't have any games here you can just click on browse there's a browse feature at the top you click on browse and then you select the game from which whichever folder it may be in and then you know you apply the high performance or set priority to your gpu okay so the next step yeah are you ready are you with me okay so the next step is to disable windows visual effects right you are going to disable windows visual effects once you type performance you are going to see adjust for best performance and then you click on that in the search right when you click on that you'll be greeted with this performance you know tab whatever it is once you come here you see that automatically it will be if you've never been here or never adjusted this before it will be on adjust for best appearance you know to make all these you know small animations and things that are in windows you know make it look nicer these transparency effects all of that you know and these things they take away a lot of resources from your system which could be used or could be focused into what actual performance from your pc so we are going to do that we are going to click on adjust for best performance now when you click on adjust for best performance you are going to realize that everything there will be disabled at once but you know we can't just have it look raw and jagged so we will um, select a few we will select show thumbnails instead of icons and also smooth edges of screen fonts and that is it that's all we need windows will still look amazing will still look good without all the extra animations and all of that our next step is to enable game mode game mode has been in the game for quite some time now you know and it has been optimized well enough to just center your system around the game you are playing just to you know it pushes away all the background processes at the time of you playing a game and it tries to focus all resources on the game you are playing game mode is a must like has to be on all the time for gaming for if, if you want to get as much you know fps as, as much fps as possible you need to have game mode on it's not it's not even a debate it's not even a question now after this turn game mode on and then you, you come back and you go to game bar and then you make sure that you turn everything under game bar off you know this part also you don't need we don't use i don't i don't know any gamer who uses captures and all of these to record so just turn it off and it also takes away from resources and then makes you know games lag and stutter so it's best to actually turn everything under game bar and recordings off okay so on to the next the next thing we are going to do which might be one of the most important things to actually do is to actually update your graphics card you know update your graphics driver you know so to update your graphics driver you can just right click on your on your screen and then when if you're having an amd graphics card just like mine you see amd radeon software if it is nvidia you see nvidia control panel you click on it or you can just go to search and then type amd uh, radeon software or you can just go into search and then type um, nvidia control panel you get it okay so after we do this we we'll just in the amd for now i have an amd graphics card so in the amd radeon software you just move your mouse pointer to the top right of the software and you see check for updates right so you just click on check for updates and then you to check for the updates if you have a new update you install if you don't have a new update you just keep the old one another way of updating is to actually open your browser 
and then type amd drivers or nvidia drivers or intel arc drivers now for mine for my case i have amd drivers so we go to the it's we click on the amd now you come you click on the first link that is when we type amd drivers we click on the first link you come all the way down and you see search or browse for drivers just uh, select your 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 gpu mine is an rx 5500 xt select your gpu and then just download your driver or download the software that can detect the driver and then install the driver onto the system and then you after this you just have to restart and you know you know installing drivers or updating drivers of your graphics card is just going to what help and give you better performance in all of your games you know what i'm saying okay so we are at the end of the video if you found the tips useful if you found the video useful or helpful please leave a like and subscribe to the channel thank you god bless